So the first thing you want to do if you're doing a throw culture is to open your swab, make sure you don't touch the tip of it on anything, have the patient open their mouth. It helps best if they look a little bit upward so that you can see the angle closely. And then let's take a look at our anatomy. In adults, we talk about the tonsils, but we're really talking about the tonsillar pillars and the uvula. And your job is to go up the first pillar, the, usually the patient's right side, across the uvula and touch the second pillar on the left before you come out. And you can usually do this all in one gag. So you go up, across the uvula, and down the other side. So you want to come up the right pillar, across the uvula, and down the second. So the next culture we're going to be doing is looking at the conjunctival. And when we're checking for chlamydia, we need to actually get cells because chlamydia is intracellular. So for patients, what you'll do is you'll bring down the lower lid and you want to be very careful with your metal tip swab not to get anywhere near the globe. And you simply go into the first two, three centimeters and rub firmly against in a downward position against the skin so that you can collect cells and then put that in your sample media. You have to be very careful that the tip does not get near the eye and that you actually get a swab of cells. The last culture that you're going to be doing on your cells involves checking inside the nose. This is a favorite place of certain viruses and for pertussis to hang out. It's not easily cultured in any other location. So you're going to use a very thin tipped uh, tube because you want to induce as little discomfort as possible. You're going to go towards your patient. Remember that the nasal passages go straight back. So you wanna lift the tip of the nose. You wanna put the sample in parallel going a few centimeters above the bottom of the opening and going straight back about an inch and a half. And then you're going to twirl the sample slowly and leave it in for a total of about 15 to 30 seconds and then bring it out. I don't want to see any turn this way. I don't want to see any samples going in at this angle or going in up the nose, you need to go directly parallel with the floor, straight back. Don't go in or sideways, just straight back in the nearest.